Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have any of the following two codes, guys, that I'm talking about, P0128 or P0126, stay with us, guys, and we'll explain what can cause you to have those codes. And most of the times it indicates that the engine temperature, okay, the engine coolant is not warm enough, okay, for stable engine operation. Which means that it leads towards a bad, uh, bad uh, thermostat, right? But it could be something else, guys. And make sure you stay until the end because uh, many of you ask me, okay, I replace the thermostat and I still get that code. So stay with us and we're going to discuss that today. Quick introduction, guys. We will have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video, guys. Hopefully you will find the information helpful and you will be able to fix your problem. Now. This is guys, Chevy Cruze, doesn't matter which engine you have, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, even the diesel engine, the procedure is about the same guys. What is causing now these codes? Okay, these codes indicate, okay, that the engine coolant is not getting to the normal operating temperature and let's say, depending on the thermostat and your settings, it could be like 90 degrees Celsius, okay, and uh, this is probably about 185 to 190 Fahrenheit, something like that. And if it's below that temperature for a very long time after driving on the highway, the computer will register, will activate the engine light and will say, hey, we have a problem. The coolant is not uh, warm enough for uh, stable operation, which means that the uh, gas will not be burning efficient, you will be using more fuel and you will be uh, releasing more emissions in the atmosphere. So that's why you will get that code. This is guys your thermostat right here. So you remove the thermostat, you replace it, you started driving the car and let's say 500 miles down the road you get again that cold especially on a cold winter day what causes that now guys okay even though you replace the thermostat you still get the cold so that could indicate guys that you have a problem somewhere else and that problem guys could be okay because the new thermostat is working it could be the coolant temperature sensor which is located okay down there okay this is your coolant temperature sensor if that sensor is bad what will happen it will actually guys send information to the computer to the car computer right here and say okay uh, we think the coolant okay uh, is this temperature but it's actually a different temperature and as a result guys it may uh, send the wrong temperature let's say the coolant is 90 degrees celsius or let's say about 190 fahrenheit but the sensor is reading only about 60 okay or let's say 150 fahrenheit what will happen guys okay the computer will give you a problem and we will turn the engine light on and tell you there is a problem it will think that the sensor is good but the sensor may not send the, uh, the correct information so that's why you have to guys uh, you have to uh, replace your coolant temperature sensor now i recommend to get the whole assembly we'll have the link in the description of the video below where you can get the whole thermostat with the, with the sensor or you can buy the sensor only check it out hopefully guys the video will be helpful that's the scanner that we're using you can check it out in the description of the video below that can pay itself off in one time use and you can do so much not just on chevy cruise on any car you can read codes from the engine computer, ABS, traction control and airbag computers as well. So, thank you for watching, please subscribe and see you guys next time.